Hello, this is Gene Sutton with AgNav. Today I'm going to talk about data conversion from AgNav to Shapefile. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is open up SprayView. Now uh, SprayView is the application that does um, conversions and editing and you can go to agnav.com and download the free trial if you want to play with it. So we'll open it up and I need to add some polygons. I'll go to the open area folder. Here's my polygons and I can change the view if I want to do that. For example, tiles. I like list. So I will select my files and open. Here are the polygons. Now, um, if I only have one polygon open, then the add spray data window will pop up with it. But if I have more than one polygon, I have to go into the menu, add flight data, and my files are in the offload folder. So I'll select them all, open. Once they load in, you get a red arrow that you can play. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit so that we can view the files better. Here's the flight path. And we're showing our spray on data. The pilot is spraying the number one polygon. Before the pilot came out to do this mission, he spent about 15 minutes on his computer to organize the flight of the day. The first thing he did was put these two polygons together as a project. The next thing he did was select the sequence, number one, number two, number three, and number four. Then he organized the grid lines to line up with the longest direction but also considering the roads and houses and other factors that he might have. Uh, uh, while we're spraying this, the uh, gear is set on auto booms and auto relay, relay calibration. That means the gear is turning on the spray for each area and turning off the spray. It's also looking at the points and recalibrating the relay time to get a real nice cutoff point. So when we get up to this polygon, I'll zoom in so you can see a little better. When we also have a real nice uh, transition from one to the other, back around down here, then we're going to swing up. Anything you can do to save time. A little piece right here, finish. Coming up, and I'm going to double click to zoom in to number four one more time. Here you see our spray on, spray on, and spray off with the gear. Also, auto relay calibration that gives the pilot a little bit less workloads for better concentration. And he's going back to get another load. I would like to show you a couple different ways to view this data. We can go into settings and we can do uh, flight path only. We can also do spray only and we can do spray and flight path together. We can change the appearance of our lines a little bit if you want. I like the solid. Once all the spray data has been played, you can do the conversion from AgNav to Shapefile. So we'll go to the menu and we'll select Convert Spray Data, AgNav to Shape, Latitude Longitude. Here I have the chance to rename it, which I think I will do. I'll name it something I would recognize. That looks good. I will click OK. 
and it's asking me how would I like to see the spray data, right? The default is coverage point, or we can select point point or line line, and we can have the spray on, spray off separate, or combine it in a folder. I'll show you later what the coverage looks like, but we'll go with that. Say OK. And our conversion is done, and you notice here that it tells you the basically the address of the data. The shape files go back into the same folder that you use for your flight data. In this case, it's offload. It's kind of like I know where you live. And we'll say OK. Now, to look at those files in a folder, they're in a spray zone and offload folder. So here's our DBF files, our shape files, HH, SHX. So that's what they look like in the folder. Now back to spray view. And I want to open up the shape polygons. So to open a shape file, you first have to open entry new. The entry new is in a C drive agnet folder, but you can copy it and paste it wherever you want. That's what I did. So I will go to um, open area, entry new, it's in the spray zone folder. I'm going to go with this data here. OK. And I go to the map icon. And I will select polygon shape. Yes, and here it is here. I'll zoom in, double clicking. That looks good. Now, uh, to add the flight data, I have to go to the menu to add map. So I will double click the spray off. Here we have the spray off data and it's shown with little blue triangles. And I will add in the spray on data. So menu, add map, spray on data. And here we have the spray on data. It's rectangles that represent the swath width. So we so hard to see, but you have your shape file, your spray off data, and your spray on data. Thank you very much, and be safe.